What's good YouTube? Let's talk about e-bike locks for your bike next on the channel. Okay, so uh, uh, I only have a couple of locks I use for my bikes. I rarely use locks um, when I'm riding because I'm never that far from my bike uh, overall. You know, I go for a ride, it's either on my car or it's in the garage here. And, um, you know, if I'm with a group of people, it's usually somebody's watching the bike as well. So, but I do have a couple of $25 locks that I use. Uh, one which was sent to me by the folks at West Biking, so thank you for that. Um, and this is a U-lock, which I'll take out of the box in a second. I've also got a, a big Lufu lock which is the exact same lock as comes with the uh, electric cells for their e-bikes. It's only cheaper. Um, and that's in the back of my Nesta here. So let's take out the U-lock first. I'll show you that. And then I'll um, kind of just, I'll, I'll hook them up to my, uh, hook up the bikes to something and show you how they work uh, basically. So uh, just a quick video today. All right, so this is the U-lock. This is by West Biking, uh, $25.99 on Amazon. And, uh, Got a silicon rubber mat around it. It's uh, made of steel, from what I read, and uh, it's a pretty hefty, you know, heavy uh, a lock. It comes with three keys. Give you a quick close up there. All right, got the keys off, and where is the keyhole? That's a good question. Okay, so there is a little slider here, and that's where you put the key. You gotta take the plastic off, I think. No. Stick it in. And there's your U lock. So it's two pieces. And key goes there. Now, the big Lufu lock is kind of my, I like this one because it's so kind of compact and, um, Actually, uh, I was able to mount it to the back of the rack here on the Nesta. It's got a little holder here. You could put this on your seat post as well. Uh, but I chose to put it in the back there. And it's just a simple folding lock. Um, I think this is made of steel. Uh, it kind of uh, moves around, flexible, and it's pretty compact. It's only probably maybe seven inches tall and just a couple inches wide. So that's the uh, big Lufu. So a very flexible lock. Should be able to basically mount it anywhere on a bike. I have a feeling this might be a little bit harder to mount in certain places, but uh, let's try it out on the bikes and let's see how it does. All right, so I put the U-lock around the uh, seat post here. Uh, I can't go up because of the the back rack or frame here, and uh, just to use my um, my hitch bike rack uh, just to, as a mounting point here. Um, if I was out uh, around town, I'd probably find a bike rack, of course, but this will do for now. So you can see how it fits there, and um, yeah, the bike's not going anywhere with this thing. Again, it's made of steel, and it's got a nice silicone rubber coating on this, so it's not going to scratch your bike at all. And for 25 bucks, I think it's a great little choice. Um, probably weighs about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, five pounds or so, something like that. So it's not too heavy. Um, I prefer kind of locks like this versus those big chains uh, that some people use. Of course, those are pretty tough, those things. And if you have to leave your bike in a more you know risky place, I think those are good as well. But um, I live in a little suburban town. There's not a lot of thefts, so I'm not that worried about it. So this U-lock uh, should do just fine as well. All right, let's try the uh, big Lufu lock here. Unlock it. Okay, so it unlocks here, and uh, basically just thread it through whatever you want. Hook it back on. Here. There's a little slot here it just slides into. And then you just lock the bike from there. Lock the lock from there. 
boom, there you have it. So, and again, this kind of fits anywhere almost um, for where you are. Okay, so here's a look at both locks up close, the big Lufu and the U-Lock by West Viking. Uh, both did the job well, both made the steel parts there. You got three keys on each bike, or actually four with the uh, Lufu. And um, yeah, I'll put links to both these in the description. Helps with the channel through my Amazon links. And I appreciate you watching. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. Uh, next video will be on, I think, cable management. I got some tips around that. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.